The Woolery Dream Crew started as a fundraiser for a soccer field in Ferndale. It has evolved into this. Millions of people from around the globe, as far away as New Zealand, Australia, Japan, and the former Soviet Union, ended up in Metro Detroit to celebrate cars. It's a really a celebration of the automobile for this region. Uh, there'll be over 40,000 classic cars out there today, and people from all over the world, not only central, uh, southeastern Michigan, will be coming here to celebrate uh, the history of the automobile and the power era of the, of the automobile, which uh, was really the 50s, 60s, and 70s kind of thing. So you'll see predominantly cars from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, but if it's been built on wheels, it's probably out here today. This year in 2013, the Woodward Dream Crew started at 9 o'clock a.m., but we caught up with people who had the lawn chair set up as early as 6.30 on Woodward and 13 Mile in thick of the action. What are some of the cool things you've seen today? Um, I like the Volkswagen that's all like um, wrought iron, made of wrought iron. Um, I saw the station wagon with the old woman on like from uh, Family Vacation or that vacation movie. Um, there's just a lot of really neat things. Well, my personal favorites are nostalgia. I like 50s and 60s muscle cars and the ones that are really radical, almost not streetable. Them are my favorites and always have been. I like all the muscle cars. I had a couple Chevelles. Chevelles are easier to resale than my Willys, but that's another problem. Uh, we like all muscle cars. I like them all. That's the trouble. I have Ford, Chevys, Chryslers. We've had them all. Cruisers drove down Woodward from 8 Mile to Pontiac, showing off their classic cars, while others had their vehicles on display at one of the many lots along the path. I drive a 1940 Willys. Willys was a car that was made back during the war. They made Jeeps for the Army, but they made a few cars, and I have a 40 Willys. Uh, 500 horsepower, air conditioned, cruise control, stereo, um, wide tire, tires this wide. Um, I trailered it here, but I drove it here about 100 miles. People are walking, driving, and shaking it up inside these classic cars here at the Woodward Dream Cruise. Whether you were cruising, walking, or just chilling out, there were many sights and sounds to capture on video and camera. The Dream Cruise has evolved into so much more than classic vehicles. Every few blocks, you can bump into just about anything going on. Our very own Cavell Mason had to work for his interview literally with the man in the military. What actually attracts you to this Dream Cruise today? Well, the Air Force is wanting to get out and be a part of the community and and uh, this is a great opportunity being that there's over about two million people here and I, I like cars so this is a, it's a great place for me to be. What cars interest you the most? I'm a Ford guy so I like all the Mustangs and the GTs and things the like that. The Dream so. Cruise is the world's largest one-day automotive event drawing 1.5 million people each year.